Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. We're continuing our playthrough of the NES classic, Crystallis, and we return you to the next episode, currently in progress. Awesomeness awaits. And we're back. All right. So we've been through the the fire the fire swamp the poison forest. Fire swamp is a different franchise. We're, we've been through the poison forest. We rescued the kid. We got the fire sword, and we've been given an insect flute to summon an insect, and the fire sword to slay said insect. We also upgraded our shield, which will help us in this particular endeavor. Let's uh, let's head back to the forest. Because if I were king of the forest... Oh, oh I, I, I walked right into it. Yes, folks, the tired is real. So uh, expect this one to be a smidge on the short side. Ah, and the clunky controls. If you're wondering why I have to disable and enable magic to uh, use the rabbit boots, it's because... When this game came out, you had an A and a B, and that was it. And you liked it. Sorry, old man and on junior kicking in again. I know, I know. Next thing you know, I'll be yelling at clouds and telling pigs to get off my lawn. Or something like that. Alright, let's make our way this way. Actually... Ooh, I should probably get 80 bucks together and buy another um, power fruit so I can get a little more magic. Swamp is laughing at me. Don't walk away now. Come on. Come on, 80 bucks. Okay, maybe a little bit more than 80, because I also need to... I'm also going to need to spend a night at the inn. And these guys were expensive, if I remember correctly. These guys were the ones that cost uh, 40 bucks for a night at the inn. So that means I'm going to need 120 by the time in order to afford the minimum of what I need. Yikes. Well, 85 bucks is a start, is it not? A series of twisting passages that all look alike. Ah, gotcha. Where'd she go? Alright. I just need 120 bucks. Come on. Show me the money. Oh. Alright. 97. Let's see. No, 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 no. I just need, what, five more guys? Four more guys? Because they're, what, four bucks a piece? Four bucks a piece, and I need 120 bucks. And I got 115. Okay. I think this is the last of my money hunt. Yep. Yep. And you are the last penny. All right. To the town. Let us spend a night at the inn. All right. That leaves me with $81 to my name. And I want to go in here. 
spend 80 of my last 81 dollars. Oh, I have too many. <sighs> That's right. I misremembered. This row is for event items. This row is for permanent items. And this row is for consumables. So you can only have eight consumables at any point in time. I should probably like pawn off one of these antidotes. All right, I guess I'm not getting a fruit of power. Sorry, I'm not getting an extra fruit of power. I am gonna save my game and uh, as much, all right. I could go sell one of those antidotes or herbs. You wish to drop it? Not really, but yes. I would rather sell it, but this place doesn't have a pawn shop. There we go. All right. I am down to my literal last dollar. So let's save that. Save the game. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and do a backup file. Save state. There we go. All right, let's uh, let's go summon a bug, shall we? I'm gonna deacon dodge these guys as much as I could use the XP. I don't need to go taking any hits. All right, insect flute. Uh oh, here comes the big. Big bad bug. Uh, if I remember right, this battle was another one of the ones that they changed for the Game Boy Color thing. Where they changed the flying bug and some of the other mechanics. Hey. And this is the part that I found mildly frustrating then, and I still find it frustrating now. The only way you can damage this guy is by charging up your sword and hitting him. You got a little bit of a break when he's done shooting. You still got to dodge that guy and his projectiles. So it's not like you have a whole lot of time to stick your sword in the ground and, and charge it up. Oh! Hi. Just wanted to glance over for chat. Oh! Bugger. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that hurt. <sighs> yep, yeah, your magic point. I know! I, I know! Thank you for that. Yeah, I don't know that I call it replenished. We'll call it higher, though. How about that? Oh! <laughs> I could have saved that. <laughs> you now have the ball of fire. It burns, burns, burns. A ball of fire. Oh! Right. Less singing. More traveling. Oh. There we go. Get a nice little uh, column of fire now instead of a little uh, drizzle. Is it a drizzle? What would be the appropriate nomenclature for that? I heard there are training grounds for wise men on the west side. Perhaps you should go there. Oh, hey, new information. Thank you again for all your help. I'll be good from now on. Yeah, I know. My magic's too low again. We have reconsidered humans. <laughs> have you reconsidered your pricing? You're great. I think I'll believe in you. Aw, thank you for that. Is this like a Tinkerbell where I get a level for you believing in me? 
Hmm, you destroyed the monster. Good, we can now live without fear. You are the one who saved us. Our precious object belongs to you. With this, we express appreciation. Please keep it with you. We will tell all of your feet. You will forever be a hero among the dwarves. Again, many thanks. Aww. <laughs> Alright, uh... Just out of curiosity. No, it's still 40 bucks. <laughs> we love you! Thank you for saving the village! Stay at the inn! It's just as expensive as it was before! <laughs> Actually, before I do anything else, let me go ahead and save. Oh, did I save that? Did I save this game? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for saving us. Also, that'll be 40 bucks. I mean, they are dwarves. Alright, he said to the west was the training ground? I'm trying to remember what was to the north. Uh, a big honkin' slime is what's to the north. Seventeen, twenty-one. Oh, they're only worth four bucks too. And on, Junior, you cannot climb this yet. You don't have enough power to make it. Captain, you can't climb there yet. Fine, I won't climb the mountain. So, in addition to the uh, level cap, you do have explicit. Um, hey. You're not allowed to climb that yet. I guess we'll be heading back here another time. And I think that's all there was up in this northern part, right? All that and these guys, which... They're worth 6 XP. So while they, they don't give you that much more money, it's not a bad spot to grind XP. Because they don't throw stuff at you. They, they come in a fairly easy to predict fashion. I just, I need you out of the poison stuff. Oh, that's right. I needed to go to the inn. That's what, that's where, that's where I was headed. Hi guys. Excellent! Your level has increased. Excellent! I have magic points again. <laughs> All right. As he stands and takes a hatchet to the face. Alright, let's just, you know what? I'm gonna be very careful and walk along the edges and take the minimal amount of damage. Oi. Uh, let's just double check on our friend in the north. The Tornado Bracelet is somewhere in Mount Saber. It will maximize the power of the Sword of Wind. Alright. Uh, so I've been told Training Ground to the West. And that the bracelet I need to fetch for the Grandmaster is... Uh, or the Wise Man is off on Mount Saber, which is to the West. Well, one of the two paths from Mount Saber is to the west. So I guess that's where I'm headed. It might also be coincidental that I needed to get the uh, ball of fire, so that way I could break down ice doors on the frozen over mountain. But it's possible that that's just a coincidence. Alright, I've got everything I need here. Uh, yes, I would like to stay. There we go. Alright, and uh, let's go ahead, save the game. Save this game? Yes, let's save this game. 
Double check. Oak. Yada yada yada. thinking of a different area. Okay, so before we tackle Mount Saber West, it there, there's another village that you find on Mount Saber, but it's on Mount Saber North, not Mount Saber West. So uh, let me go ahead, save the game. And uh, I think I'm going to end this episode a little early. Well, that was fun. Unless I died. Then it was a little less fun. I hope you enjoyed the series so far. The next episode should roll out tomorrow, unless tomorrow's a live stream day. The current schedule is over on my Twitch profile. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, do follow in Twitch. That way you'll get notified when I go live, allowing you to chat along as we record the next six episodes. Or chat along with whatever else I got going on. I do a variety of things, just like here. Speaking of here, if you're not already, please do subscribe to the channel. It really helps out. Click the bell and you'll no get notified of all the new content produced from future Games Revisited episodes to CoffeeCraft livestream archives, instrument repair, upgrades and construction, and uh, anything else that strikes my fancy. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions, quips, queries, quandaries, quotes, complaints, comments, or quibbles, just uh, leave those in the comments below. Have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.